go outside. Go outside, appreciate your surroundings, slap on a smile, and say hello to strangers. Um, today has been the perfect Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, season's greetings. Good morning. Hello. I am off on an adventure. So, currently in Edinburgh and didn't have much to do today. So, decided to take on a challenge. And that challenge is the seven hills around Edinburgh. So, inspired from my time in Lewis where I again had a Christmas on my own didn't know what to do and thought I'll just get out of the house I'll go for an explore and I ended up just kind of heading for the nearest hill and then heading for the next hill and the next hill and yeah, it was just a really wholesome engaging day and challenging as well because it was quite a distance and since being here in Edinburgh I've started hearing about the seven hills Obviously, I've already explored a few of them, but um, today's mission is to try and stand on the top of all of them. So, you gonna come along? First things first, I need to strap my ankles because that's just the way it is these days. But I also wanted to say that because there's seven hills, I thought that I could use this day as a way to kind of recap my year um, since I haven't been making videos but um, yeah a lot has happened this year and I think it'll be good for me to to think about some of the things that I've been through and some of the things that I might like to share with you so seven hills seven memories seven lessons seven I don't know seven adventures shall we say I'm gonna get these strapped and uh, be on my way. It's telling me to run up the road, but I've seen a more scenic route. This is a new view for me. Beautiful. Okay. So, I'm a little out of breath, but once I walk to the actual summit, it's a little bit more, a little bit further. Um, I've been thinking on the way here about maybe the lessons that I learned or what I was thinking about this time last year. And I think what was really on my mind was the fact that seasons change. And I think maybe the gift of spending a Christmas alone in the past, it really made me acutely aware of the people I was around when I did have a Christmas with family, with good friends, with people who I love and people who love me. And yeah, I just remember being super present and soaking up every moment because life changes quickly. And I think that's another thing that that football has taught me, you know. <laughs> I don't think this would be the way my career went. Um, I think of myself as a, quite a loyal person and I would have been happy just to, to go to a club, to settle in, to, to be 
part of the community there and, and make an impact. But life has had other plans and it's meant that I have to constantly adapt and move and change direction sometimes. And with that often comes goodbyes. <laughs> and so, yeah, I guess life is fleeting and the moments we spend with people we love are, are so precious, you know? You're not gonna be with them forever. Heck, you might even lose them sooner than you anticipated. So make the most of it, be grateful for it. And just, uh, yeah, lock them in uh, for times when you, when you want to reflect and you need them. I think I've come the wrong way. I'm gonna have to loop back around and we'll see the view from the top. But yeah, lesson number one in my life, 2022, seasons change. on the city those are the hills we're gonna end on you got where's my finger Arthur's seat the castle and Carlton Hill all right bit of weather coming in now so I need to get a move on but I believe Craig Lockhart Craig Lockhart Hill I'm coming for you Outside a very chirpy bush. Hey guys! Christmas clearly in full swing with the Sparrow family. That was tough <laughs> but that was fun not quite at the summit but there's no wind here it's quiet there's no people just a few birds and some cars in the distance so on the way here I was thinking about hill number two lesson number two and I think quite fitting for how I got up here is that adventure is on our doorstep um, I think that's a great opportunity about coming to a new place is that there's just this instinct to want to go and explore and I think that was a deer <laughs> something big with four legs anyway just <laughs> ran that way um, yeah, just exploration. And I think this was inspired in me, especially by Bo Miles. If you haven't checked his channel out, do. It's like like the backyard adventure of, you know, I, we have this preconception that if you want to have a good adventure or a, a great experience, you got to go abroad, you got to go to some resort or some nice place. But just discovering your own neighborhood can bring so much joy. And I mean, I say that with dirty hands now because it's it's setting up challenges that just make you take different routes, make you 
change your perception of things, make you challenge yourself too. And I think that's what keeps life vibrant, keeps us alive a bit. I mean, within a month of being here in Edinburgh, one of my teammates said to me, I think you've seen more of, more of the city than I have and I've lived here my whole life. <laughs> And I think that's kind of the point, right? If we stay somewhere for so long, you can kind of, you think that you know a place, but how many streets have you walked down? How many hills have you climbed? How many, yeah, do you really know it? Or you just stick to your routine? And I think just breaking that routine and putting the map down and just like, there's a point, I'm gonna go for that and see if you can get there. <laughs> and see what you learn along the way. Um, so that, hill number two, Craig Lockhart Hill. Let's go get to the top. So that's where we were before. Nothing around us, just flames in the fire. And through the night, the burn like Two down, five to go, and I can see them all from here. Check this out. One, two, three, four. Okay, I can't see Carlton. Uh, there, five. <laughs> to a river but it looks like that person is on a bridge oh, it's like the eye toy um i need to figure out how to get down there <laughs> not sliding on my butt the whole way because i want to get up that one for hill number three only three Okay, I gotta be completely transparent here. Hill number three, Braid Hill. I don't know where, where it is. <laughs> I might be on it. That might be it over there. Um, who knows, but I'm on a hill and it's not the next hill, so. You know, it's a hill nonetheless. Hill number three. And <laughs> it's kind of fun just figuring out like what comes up for me as I journey to the next hill. And the thing that was present in that little walk, wasn't that little, it was a bit of a hike, but in that uh, section is that dark times don't last forever. I think uh, all that time on my own, living on my own, and at times very much not feeling valued at football, um, along with some injuries that kept me out. It was challenging. It was really hard. Uh, hard to stay motivated, hard to try and be positive, especially when I, I was still working hard and just didn't feel like I was getting the rewards um, yeah so it was a really challenging time at, at Southampton but shout out to the fans I think um, like unbelievably supportive and positive and I'm not sh I'm genuinely not sure if I could have uh, could have kept going had it not been for them so um, Yeah, <laughs> dark times don't last forever. There's always, there's always a bit of light on the horizon or even within the situation. And you just gotta pay attention to the things that 
that light you up, I guess, the things that keep you going. Um, for me, it's getting out in nature. <laughs> it's interacting with, uh, with, with people um, in the community and it's playing football. And you know that, that I'll, I definitely look back fondly on that chapter, even though whilst I was in it, it wasn't <laughs> everything that I had hoped it was. I, I still know that I had a big impact on that team and we won the league, we got promoted and that was the ambition and I definitely played my part in that. So I'm proud, I'm proud of my impact with that club and um, yeah, and then a new chapter calls, right? As we said, seasons change. Okay, but that wasn't the point of this one. The point was, <sighs> There is light at the end of the dark. Or in the dark. Darkness doesn't last forever. Something like that. You know, you get the gist. Okay. Oh, number three. That was that. I did so well, and then I slid down this little hill at the end. Oh, I wish you got that. I might have to reenact it. I'm not gonna do it. I just went slippy down there. Shoom. Oh, that was fun though. And now just a little trot to hill number four. One of my favorite in Edinburgh. Some good encouragement from people walking up on Christmas. They said, Are you doing the Seven Hills? And they offered to take a photo for me. But obviously, selfie cam. Oh, what a view this is. So, funny thing that Arthur's seat there, volcanic stuff, um, it's actually called Holy Rood Park. How fitting is that? Um, Oh, lesson number four. Lesson number four, I think just given the short, uh, <laughs> the short step to there, made me think about the little things. And I think uh, consistency. Consistency is, I know, <laughs> it's the key to a successful and fulfilling life. And it's one of the things I struggle most with. Um, I think habits, you form habits and you do them consistently over time. You get a little bit better each day. And that's how you move forward towards the life that you want to lead. And I think uh, my biggest issue over this year is just a bit of no clear direction, I guess. In, in what I want to do and where I want to go and who I want to be and I guess sometimes that's okay you've got to take time to figure this stuff out and uh, but yeah consistency it's definitely something that keeps coming back and something that I wish 
I was more consistent with. <laughs> so, number four, Blackford Hill. Got the castle there, Colton Hill, and this is where we're going to be next. Holy rood, baby. Oh, I just slipped down the hill again. My butt is going to be sore tomorrow. But, uh, time for some fuel. A bit of hydration before taking on that next hill. Five. The biggest of the lot. Okay, here we are, hill number five. But oh, I'm feeling it now. I'm getting tired. It's getting late. Sun's starting to set and my battery's starting to run low. So I won't be filming much. But I'm heading, of course, up that crack. So wish me luck. See you at the top. people me <sighs> all right I'm trying to get somewhere out the wind on the top of or just about on the top hill number five Look at that view and that's only half of it <laughs> nestled in a crack in the rock there's plenty of people up here it's pretty cool these hills around Edinburgh because they look huge but they're actually quite accessible to the majority of people so um, anyway hill number five life lesson number five from this year for me I think the the strength it takes to be grounded in reality <laughs> is often challenging. Um, I had a moment when I was in Germany with Phil and we were building this truck of our dreams to go and travel the world with and we were conjuring up all these ideas of adventure and life and, and future, yeah, exploration and, and how wonderful that could be together. And at the same time, I was faced with a big life decision of this opportunity to come to Scotland and having to reconcile with the challenge of the potential implications of that. I mean, in my head, in my mind, I think that anything can work if you want it to work, right? If you've got two willing parties willing to support each other, chase your own dreams and 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 look out for each other i think it's possible but um yeah sometimes you just gotta the the reality of those decisions the implications that they have they're challenging and even just the day-to-day -day reality of of existence <laughs> it's challenging to be alive right now let's just get that clear like there is a lot going on in the world and around like it's tough and i think it's easy it's so we we're bombarded with distractions constantly you know tv these phones are so addictive i'm totally addicted to mine and you know there's other vices out there too to to get us out of the present moment and kind of distort 
or not distort, but change our <sighs> distract. There's a lot of distractions, and I think, yeah, just really being aware of them is one thing, but I think trying to eliminate them is what I would like to do. Um, so that kind of veered off into two things. The, the one I was kind of getting at is like, this is your life, this is my life, and we're in the driver's seat. And as much as I'm a free spirit, I like to go with the flow, I think recognizing at times that the choices we make have, have implications not just on our life, but those around us. And you got to, you can't take those decisions lightly, <laughs> basically. Um, you got to do them with conviction so that you know in your heart that it's the right thing for you to do. And if the right people are meant to be there, they'll be there. And if not, it's not the right ones. And that can be tough. But here we are, sitting on a hill, Christmas day. And uh, quite frankly, loving life. <laughs> Holy Rood, hill number five. Gonna go to the top and uh, on to the next. Okay, we did it. Hill number six. I did intend to get up here for sunset, but to be honest, there wasn't much of a sunset anyway. So I can't really say that I missed it, but maybe 15, 20 minutes behind schedule, but I think we're doing okay. Considering the next hill is there, the castle. And that's the, the last of the lot. But first, life lesson number six for hill number six. I'd say it's that you're not for everybody. I think that we can often spend our lives trying to taper who we are around certain people to try and be accepted and get attention or love or compassion. And uh, reality is like some people just won't vibe with you. Some people will think you're weird, <laughs> think that you're they're just curious or they're like, she can do her thing over there. And that's, that's totally fine because there are people there that do understand you and, and do get you and do appreciate and support you. And those are the people that you should care about. Okay, so I kind of botched that last one. What I meant to say is that there's only one of you. You're the only person who perceives the world in the way you do. And don't be shy to share that. To... <laughs> Share your experience with other people and some people it will land with and others it won't, but that's okay because the ones that it does land with, they'll appreciate you, they'll let you know and they'll support you and that's what's important. And how others perceive you, that's mostly on them. <laughs> I mean, yes, how you act might have some part to play in it, but mostly 
yeah, it's their own thing. So, so just do you, be you, and share yourself with the world because you're with your unique perspective. Hence, why I'm making this video. Lesson number six be you, share it with the world. So there we have it, the castle on the hill. Hill number seven, which only leaves one more thing. Life lesson number seven. If you're sad, if you're lonely, if you're missing home, if you're missing your friends, if you're homesick, if you're just down and out and mad at the world, go outside. Go outside, appreciate your surroundings, slap on a smile, and say hello to strangers. Um, today has been the perfect Christmas. Uh, it, was, it felt like a blessing to be out there. There were just people everywhere, everybody smiling at you, everybody saying hello. They want, they want you to feel good, you want them to feel good. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas all round. So I'm gonna head home. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hot bath and a lot of food and uh i hope that you enjoyed this video let me know how it landed for you and um we will see you in the new year take good care peace love Mission complete. <sighs>